you guys ever seen White Castle? I mean, have you guys, wait. So have you guys ever seen uh, Harold and Kumar? Because it looks like Kumar got tired of White Castle and started his own restaurant. Hey guys, it's Mexican Pizza. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here at Kumar's Indian Cuisine and I just want to go ahead and give them a review. First off, walking into the place, it's very inviting. The, the lighting, they've got like ambient lighting. I love the booth. It's very cool. People here are really friendly as well. The thing about them is that they are southern Indian style type food, so it's authentic and there's no preservatives, no MSG. Everything is made from scratch here. And so today I'm gonna go ahead and review their pepper chicken. That's the pepper chicken. This is the majiri chicken. This is the uh, chicken tiki masala with naan. You can get it with rice if you don't want naan. And then this is the mutan birani. Mutan is just uh, another word for goat in Indian. So um, I'm just really excited to try it. It all smells really good. And uh, I like that they serve the water in this little cute tin can. It's kind of it's very neat. It smells really good. And again, it's goat meat. You've got just a little bit of bone in here as well. Um, but that's okay. So let's try a little bit of the pepper chicken. This is a uh, no bone. This is breast. Wow, this smells really good. So peppery. And you can smell the cilantro on top, even though it's just sprinkled on top. It's very, very, very good smelling. And this is a appetizer called Majidi Chicken again. Uh, squirt that on there. This is definitely fried and it looks like they're all thighs. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'll try the pepper chicken. That looks really good. And it smells amazing. Wow, it almost doesn't even taste like chicken. It's delicious. It's like, it's really good. Like, almost like very peppery though. You can definitely taste the pepper and it's spicy. It's got some spice to it. It's got a good kick to it. Let's try the uh, birani and a little bit of goat. That's good, really good not spicy but it's got a very unique flavor to it I can't even describe it all right guys so I am extremely full right now and that has this restaurant has got to be one of the best Indian restaurants in Plano I mean I even tried to think of something negative to say about it and I couldn't I mean I just it was so delicious the the food was so fast um, They've refilled my water so quickly. I mean, the experience was just wonderful here. If you guys know any other dishes that I should be trying, um, comment on the video below uh, because I do like my Indian food. So if I'm missing out on any Indian dishes because I know I usually order the masala. Uh, so yeah, feel free to comment and let me know. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe.